Artashes and Satnik From the History of Armenia, by Moses of Korin At this time the Alans united with all the people of the mountain country, and having taken possession of the half of Georgia, spread themselves in great multitudes over our land. And Artashes collected a mighty host together, and there was war between the two great nations. The Alans retreated somewhat, and crossing over the river Kerr, they encamped on its northern bank. And when Artashes arrived, he encamped on the southern bank, so that the river was between them. But because the son of the king of the Alans was taken captive by the Armenian hosts and brought to Artashes, the king of the Alans sought peace, promising to give to Artashes whatsoever he should ask. And he swore an eternal peace unto him, so that the sons of the Alans might not be carried away captive into the land of the Armenians. And when Artashes would not consent to give back the youth, his sister came to the river's bank and stood upon a great rock. And by means of the interpreter she spoke to the camp of Artashes, saying, O brave Artashes, who hast vanquished the great nation of the Alans, unto thee I speak. Come, hearken unto the bright-eyed daughter of the Alans king, and give back the youth. For it is not the way of heroes to destroy life at the root, nor for the sake of humbling and enslaving a hostage to establish everlasting enmity between two great nations. And on hearing such wise sayings, Artashes went to the bank of the river. And seeing that the maiden was beautiful, and having heard these words of wisdom from her, he desired her. And calling Spad his chamberlain he told him the wishes of his heart, and commanded that he should obtain the maiden for him, swearing unto the great Alan nation oaths of peace, and promising to send the youth back in safety. And this appeared wise in the eyes of Spad, and he sent messengers unto the king of the Alans asking him to give the lady Satnik, his daughter, as wife unto Artashes. And the king of the Alans answered, From whence shall brave Artashes give thousands upon thousands, and tens of thousands upon tens of thousands, unto the Alans in return for the maiden? Concerning this the poets of that land sing in their songs. Brave King Artashes mounted his fine black charger and took the red leathern cord with the golden ring like a swift-winged eagle he passed over the river and cast the golden ring round the waist of the Allen princess causing much pain to the tender maiden as he bore her swiftly back to his camp which being interpreted meaneth that he was commanded to give much gold, leather and crimson dye in exchange for the maiden. So also they sing of the wedding. It rained showers of gold when Artashes became a bridegroom. It rained pearls when Satnik became a bride, for it was the custom of our kings to scatter coins amongst the people, when they arrived at the doors of the temple for their wedding, as also for the queens to scatter pearls in their bride chamber. This reading was from the book, Armenian Legends and Poems, illustrated and compiled by Zabel Boyajian, and dedicated to the undying spirit of Armenia. The text file was produced by Jeroen Hellingman and the online distributed proofreading team for Project Gutenberg, from images generously made available by the Internet Archive, American Libraries. This reading was brought to you by Inside the New Russia Project. Visit www.insidethenewrussia.com for more info or follow us on Twitter at Ethnic Stories.